I'm Chef Susan O'Dell. Welcome to the Foodell Kitchen. Your knives are an essential tool and they make your job much easier when they're sharp. So let's talk about how to keep them sharp and then how to store them once they are sharp. There are three ways that I recommend you sharpen your knives. The first is take it to a professional. Try your local hardware store or better yet your local gourmet kitchen store. Oftentimes they offer the sharpening surface at a nominal fee. The other two ways are by using a handheld sharpener that you can keep at home or an electric sharpener. Let's have a look at those methods. This is a handheld sharpener by Vustov, and I really like this one because I'm left-handed. It works as well for a left-handed person as it does for a right-handed person. You can pull the blade through either direction. It also has slots for both standard European knives and Japanese knives. Japanese knives have a more delicate, slender blade, and so you need a slightly different slot to pull them through. So to sharpen a knife, you have two slots. One is labeled coarse, the other fine. Always start with the coarse slot for a dull knife. Pull the knife towards you, starting with the heel and going all the way to the tip. Continue to do that pretty gently until you feel a burr or a little rough spot starting to form on the edges of your knife. Once you feel that, you move over and start using the fine side. This is going to hone your knife and remove that burr, just leaving you with a really nice sharp blade. This is an electric sharpener by Chef's Choice. It's their commercial variety. This also has two slots, one coarse and one fine, but it sharpens each side of the blade separately. So you start by pulling it through and sharpening the right side of your blade, doing it again and sharpening the left, backwards and forwards on the coarse side until you feel the burrs, and then you hone it again, left side, right side, left side, right side, on the fine side. So what you do is you make sure your blade gets all the way down to the turning wheel and pull it through just like we did on the handheld. But you want to do it again on the other side. We're sharpening both sides of the blade at different times. You need to make sure your knife comes in contact with the cutting wheel. And again, you're going to start feeling your knife for that burr to form. Once you feel it on both sides of your knife, move over to the fine side and do the same thing, again, on both sides of your blade, the left side and the right side. And you do that until the burr is removed. The duller your knife is to start, the more pulls you're going to have to do through your sharpening device. But it's worth it. You get this beautiful sharp knife that makes cutting a breeze and completely effortless. Take care of your knives between sharpening by honing it on a sharpening steel. Let's have a quick look at that method. This is a honing steel. You want to use it every time you pick up your knife before you start to cut. It will keep your sharp knife sharp, but it won't sharpen a dull knife. Hold your knife at a 20 degree angle to the steel. To figure out what that looks like is start with your 90 degree angle. Go halfway, that would be 45 degree angle, and about half of that is just around 20. You want to sharpen both sides of your blade, so start with the heel at the top of the steel and just rotate the blade down at that 20 degree angle, finishing at the tip. Then come around behind the steel and do the same thing on the other side of your blade. You don't have to be fast about this. Start slow, practice. It's important to keep that angle consistent. And you just want to do this a few times to get the burrs off of your knife and keep your sharp knife sharp. The other method to hone your knife is to hold your steel just like this. You've got a nice big handle. Make sure all of your fingers are safely below that. Start at the top of the steel with the base of your knife, again holding it at a 20 degree angle, and just rotate the knife down the steel on both sides. Again, there's no rush. Take your time. Make sure you keep your 20 degree angle, and once you get well and practiced, you can go a little bit faster. Now that your knives are nice and sharp, you want to store them properly. If you want to put them in a drawer, you can buy these edge guards. They're inexpensive and they protect each of your knives from you and from each other. Or you can buy a wooden holder. This separates each knife and makes them easy to access. If you want to keep them on the countertop, get a nice wooden block. It stores everything in its own little slot and your knives will be ready at your fingertips when you need them. Bon appetit.